Sweet Londons of Layton, holy cow, it happened. Professor Layton and the New World of Steam was just announced and I... I apologize if my voice is off because I have been screaming and crying and spending hours a day editing a retrospective, you know the one, coming soon. Just getting so sad that the series would never really go past that, but ho ho! It is amazing how a simple 23 second clip can completely turn fate inside out, and now we finally have a Layton game on Switch! A good Layton game on Switch. Probably. Obviously, we aren't gonna know what this looks like for a long time, and we have to be cautious because it could always be another Catriel. But the fact that the trailer chooses to focus on Layton is a good sign, so here's five ways I think they could keep the good luck rolling. Number one, either Luke or Flora. Luke not being here raises the big question of when does this take place? The prequels, the present, or the pregnancies? Cause he's with the professor on every cover, name a more iconic duo. Since he's not in the trailer, could we just assume, spoiler alert, that this takes place sometime after Unwound slash Lost Future or before Spectre's Call slash Last Spectre? And if he's not gonna be the professor's partner, who is? Flora? Don't even get me started. Just literally do anything. Number two, fun in both handheld and docked mode. Replaying the games has made me realize how dependent they are on a touchscreen, and sometimes Switch games just fumble with accommodating a docked mode, DS ports especially. Their answer is to usually use the pointing function, but could you imagine trying to do a sliding block puzzle like that? Like, let's not make that more repulsive. I just want to be able to use the memo pad in docked mode, okay? Number three, art style. So how did we feel about this new art style? Because I actually really enjoy it, but I know some fans have been kind of put off by the two 3DS games art in the past. Do you like this one more? And is it just for cutscenes, or will Layton be embracing full 3D and doing away with the point and click? Like, what would that even look like? In any case, I hope the charming art of the series persists, whether in two dimensions or three, whether cell shaded or ray traced. Yeah, the art has always been so beautiful to me, and I hope it stays timeless. Number four, good puzzles. This feels like something I shouldn't have to even say, but again, and after Catriel, what are they gonna do without Akira Tago? I know I say this all the time, but damn, those puzzles was ass. So if they're introducing someone new, I hope they're confident, and it looks like they are clearly emphasizing the new part of this in the title and tagline, but that's actually my last hope. Number five, familiar but fresh. From Nintendo Hero, the first Layton is 16 years old, and the series has kept that formula for about 6 to 8 games, depending on where we fall. And as someone playing them recently, I can tell you it holds up very well, but if we're really gonna commit to the new aspect, I hope they can finally evolve the formula. Show us what Professor Layton looks and feels like in 2023. Hopefully. Yeah, let's call that the Six Hope, even though they didn't show a release date, so they must be far, and it's level 5, so they have to release in Japan first, then wait like a year to release, so what, that's like two or three years, you know? This reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs>